latest member of its aviation fleet. It's called the UH-72 Alpha. This is one of the measures that moves the mission forward, both for the Army and the National Guard. It frees up Black Hawks, a workhorse in combat, and it takes domestic rescue missions to a new level, and that will save more lives. It all begins with a traditional Native American ceremony naming the UH-72 Alpha Lakota. It's going to carry our children. It's going to carry our enemies. It's going to save the It will look like something the military already has in its fleet. But it was built from scratch on lessons learned. It has hoist capability on either side to drop supplies or rescue victims in a disaster. In the cockpit, communication from air to first responders. And because of its small footprint, it can land in the most challenging locations.